Hello! So, I have just realized that my Unity layout is a little bit different from what you might see when you first enter Unity. I go to Window, and I go to Layouts, and press Revert Factory Settings. Yes, continue. Now, this is what you most likely will see. For my screen size, it's a little bit wasteful to use it like this. So, what I like to do is to keep hierarchy and project at the left uh, part of the screen and then bring console to the bottom. Okay, um, now when we are back on track, uh, let's have a quick review what we learned on the previous lesson. Um, this big interesting viewport is called a scene view. Part on the right is called inspector. That's where you have all the information about your currently selected game objects. And this part on the left is hierarchy. You see the scene name and then all the game objects in the scene are listed in here. So you can select them either in viewport or in hierarchy directly. So to uh, do any operations with objects like scale, rotate or um, movement, you select object and then you can either click these buttons at the top left corner this one is for move, this one is for rotate, and this one is for scale. And you will also notice that these uh, arrows or cubes, they are called gizmos, they are updated as we click. Uh, you can also use hotkeys, conveniently placed in order. So if you hit W, it will be your move tool. If you hit E, it will be rotation, R for scale. Now it's very easy. In scale two, if you click on this uh, gray cube in the middle of gray of big gray cube, you will scale on all, on all axes at the same time. This is called uniform scale. Any of the cubes which represents axis, like either this red cube is x axis, this is z, and this is y, then you will have a non-uniform scale. Uh, per axis. If you hit E or press this button here, then we have our rotation gizmo. So what we can do with it, we can also rotate individual axis. If you hit on this circle or this is for the X axis. If you click on this outer gray circle, it will rotate in the screen space. It's useful, but I seldom use it. Also, if you click not on any particular axis here, but just in this area, click and drag, then you will rotate in on all axis. It's, uh, yeah, you just have to try and see how it works. Press W, and this enables our movement tool. And big difference is that if you look closer, you can see there are um, these colorful planes. It's not exactly axis, but it means that if you click on this red uh, plane, the X axis movement will be ignored. So you only move in the ZY plane. And if you hit on this green one, then Y axis will be ignored. And uh, object will be translated in um, XZ plane. Same for this one. Bring back our plane. Another issue, because everything is so bright, it's really hard to see what's going on. So let's adjust our light a little bit. We select it, hit E for rotate, and now we just rotate it so that we can actually see what's going on. Now it's a little bit better. Um, also notice that when you start rotating this light, then our background it turns yellow and then here is it's just pitch black and then here is blue. This is uh, Unity's way of uh, treating physical lighting. So this uh, directional light, it currently represents the sun. And if we rotate, we can actually see what's going on. So this fancy way to orbit around object is uh, not difficult and it's very useful. If you select an object and then you hit F on a keyboard, 
Unity Viewer bring your camera to the object so you can see it right in the middle of your screen. So it will focus in the edit. If you like press F, it will frame select it. So let's say I have another object, God knows where, and then I hit F, and then Unity bring it in. One thing to keep in mind is that your mouse cursor should actually be over the scene view for this to work. Because if your mouse cursor will be over hierarchy and then you hit F, Unity view highlight this object in yellow. Uh, this yellow frame will appear. But if you hit it with mouse cursor over the scene view, then it will frame selected. After you frame se your selection, press and hold out, then using the left mouse button, you can orbit around the object. This is super convenient and super useful, and I use it a lot. You can see that even if I deselect object, it will still remember which object was framed before. So if I want to orbit around this cube, I select it, and then I hit F, frame selection, and then I orbit around it.